Hello everyone, what's happening? This is Forgo, and I had to give Ghost Rider one more video, one more chance, because I did see in the comments from quite a few people that they really just bought this uniform for Squad Battle, and that's exactly what we're going to test, because for Squad Battle in Vibranium, we'll just jump in here. You have these choices. Now for some newer players, they're not going to have a paywall like Slapstick. They're not going to have Nova. They're not going to have this Nova either because he costs over 6,000 crystals. Uh, they're not going to have Ghost Panther because he's a paywall. Really, Dr. Voodoo was the best alternative. And without Ghost Panther's support, without Nova's support, I really don't know if Dr. Voodoo can hit that 800,000 or not. But can Ghost Rider? Can Ghost Rider hit the 800,000? Well, that's what we're going to test today. That's what we're going to find out. And, you know, my Ghost Panther, or my Ghost Rider has the exact same build that he had before. There's nothing different at all about his build. Terrible, terrible stats. We could definitely make him a whole lot stronger than what he is. He has no Urus, level 60. I mean, I'm still waiting for this freaking potential. It's ridiculous. Uh, matter of fact, on the quick little other subject, just real quick later here, real quickly here. Um, take a look at this. Take a look at this. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Look at this. Look at this. A about 81%. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's just, boy, they're really trying to get us to buy that freaking ticket to take the potential up. Jesus Christ, that is a ridiculous, insane amount of time that's taking to realize that potential. Good Lord. Wow, well, maybe one of these days. Anyways, Ghost Rider has all of his skills at level 6. He just has stage 6 power angry all set. And again, he just has the fire damage, 160% damage proc. You could easily give him a much better build. Give him a 200% damage proc with fire damage. Has some critical damage, fire damage with critical damage obelisk. With uh, the damage proc, that would be so much better. My uniform is only at normal. You could actually put this thing at mythic. I'm probably not going to level up because for a player like myself with this roster... I just, I mean, honestly, I just have no place for Ghost Rider. Uh, I actually use uh, Nova to do squad battle, and I have plenty of other characters that can do Ebony, uh, plenty of characters that can do Call, although he can do high levels of them. If you break out the Trinity, yeah, yeah, he can do one shots. I mean, he actually does really good as long as you make the fight quick. You don't want it to string out too long, otherwise he'll die, which might happen in squad battle. So let's jump in here. Since we're thinking that we're not going to have Nova and we're not going to have Ghost Panther, we're just going to put Ghost Rider in our leadership. We're going to put this guy in there and we're going to put the other Ghost Rider in there. All these characters are completely free to play. And let's see for Male Superhero Universal if Ghost Rider can do it. Now, I don't expect him to hit the 800,000 with the build that I currently have. I have 55% physical attack on my cards, but let's see how well he can do with this build and that will give us all an idea of how strong he really is in squad battle now i know squad battle isn't some you know big gauge i know a lot of us hate the game mode i don't like it but still you know if you're a newer player and you picked up this uniform it might be a good investment because if this thing can get you that eight hundred thousand and get you those mandalay gems every day that's gonna help so i'm gonna manually play this in hopes to keep my health uh full before we face starter because if we play this on auto, he will take a lot of damage, unfortunately. And the nice thing about Ghost Rider is he does have a lot of AoE. Come on, here we go. The bad thing about him is he does die really easy. Alright, let's do it. Okay, over pick this up, pick this up. We don't want to take any damage from these boys. Alright, let's do it. So far, we're doing pretty good as far as our survivability. We haven't taken much damage. And I, I know that squad battle isn't like a, a massive deal, you know. But there are players that are trying to get those Mandalay gems. They are trying to get the max rewards from this game mode. 
so they can get awaken some characters. Oh yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That damn five just obliterates everybody. Oof. Okay, so we got 190,000, almost 191,000 in the first round. Here we go. We'll just hit that third skill because it's a nice iframe. But the one, it's a nice iframe. There we go. And we picked up all our orbs. We're good to go. Let's go. Okay. Ooh, and I was actually really curious as to whether or not he could do this myself. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oof. Run over here, Robert. We did take a little bit of damage there. Let's hit that five, get our invincibility. Now, when we face Surter, because Surter has penetration, we can still take a lot of damn damage. And this is why a heal would have been really nice. It would have been so nice. It, I, it's almost like uh, it's almost like Netmarble purposely made him this way, just so people would still have that incentive to try to get Nova uh, for this. Because with Nova, this is easy. I mean, I seriously just play this on auto when I use him. Let's go. Oof. Watch out. Okay, here we go. Oof. And keep in mind, if he was level 70, man, you could throw some HP Uru's on this guy to help his survivability. That'd probably be a good idea. Alright, so we got 400 and about 468,000. And if my fist skill gets off cooldown, we're gonna get behind, oh boy. And we're gonna hit that four. Hey, get away, get away, get away. Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I just want to get that immunity and get away from him. Let's get behind him. Ooh. Okay, and there we go. Hit that four. All right, here we go. Now, I didn't quite pick up all the orbs I should have. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Time freezing crap. Here we go. All right, now let's get away from Surter. You really want to avoid that bastard at all costs. Like, get behind him. Stay behind him. Get behind him, get behind him. Here we go. Yeah, I need to get away, get away, get away. All right, here we go. Go into our iframe, hopefully not take any damage. I should have hit my third skill there. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Iframe, 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 watch out, watch out. Get away, 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 get away. Here we go, go, get behind him, get behind him. Get away, get away, get away. Hit that four. And look at that, 731,000. Just Ghost Rider. 731,000, just him, with a crappy freaking build. So he's definitely going to get that 800,000. You just got to make sure when you're facing Surter, stay behind him. Always attack from behind. Don't face him full on because he does have penetration, and he will destroy 
that invincibility. So I know it's not a big deal, but I think it's pretty damn cool that he can do that. That's actually a, a bright light to me uh, for a lot of newer players that picked up Ghost Rider's uniform. So I think that's absolutely fantastic. I do want to touch on something really quick, though. I saw this deal in here for $50, right? You got the Mega Advancement ticket, you got 1,000 Crystals, you got the Mega Rank Up, and the Mythic ticket. I have to say that this isn't that bad of a deal. And, and you know, as always, I'm not trying to advocate for anyone to spend money. But there's nothing wrong if you do. There's nothing wrong if you want to support a game. But I do think that this is not a bad deal. The thing that, that bugs you about this is, you see this here, right? And it's like, well, that's pretty cool, right? But right now, you're going to be able to get that from here. Well, get off of this. For free. And we could get these for free. So I wish that, I think that deal isn't too bad. But I really think they should have had a little bit more rubies. Uh, I think, or not ruby. I think, I think they should have a little bit more crystals in there. Personally. And I do like that there's three star, four star in here. This is actually really sweet in this event. Just wanted to touch on that really quick. I think that's pretty freaking cool. But that deal isn't too bad. And I was actually thinking about going for a CTP, but I don't like it when it's random. Whenever it's just a CTP of Rage, maybe I'll do a video doing that. But I don't like it when it's all of them because I don't need all of them. I just want Rages. <laughs> you guys know how I am. I'm all about the PvE. So I'm actually really impressed with Ghost Rider. Uh, he can survive. He can do the squad battle. And if that is important for you, then this is an absolute must buy. If you don't have the Novas and if you don't have Ghost Panther, which, you know, quite a few players aren't going to have those characters. They're not going to have the crystals for Nova and they're not going to have and they're not going to have Ghost Panther because he's a paywall. So he would be an excellent choice for a squad battle if that's something you're concerned with. It actually makes me really happy that he does have some relevance, and that's pretty cool. Is it what we all want? No, but I didn't want to, you know, complain and harp in this video. I just wanted to highlight something really good about this character. So let me know how you're all feeling about Ghost Rider tearing up squad battle, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.